I know how you feel about this, and I know what you're probably going to say, but I got a weird feeling that the Patriots are going to surprise a lot of people this year. You are the only person I know that has said that. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know there's a lot of weird stuff going around. There's a lot of weird news and rumors going around with New England. I've even heard Bill Belichick's name mentioned to replace Ron Rivera for the commanders. I don't have any idea where the hell that came from, but I found it interesting. That's all that. We got dead time before the draft. Let's make shit up and publish it kind of stuff going on, I think, right there. But I know that there was questions around Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. I can't I can't say Mike Jones without thinking about that. I just can't. Or Mac Jones. Without thinking about Mike Jones. Um, I probably even just said Mike Jones a minute ago, didn't I? Yep. See, I can't I can't get it out of my head. What's the number? Ooh, I don't even remember. It's been so long since I heard that. I thought I thought uh I thought you just I thought you popped off with that uh, about a year ago or so. I, I thought we were outside and you popped off with it. That's why I asked. <laughs> um anyway, uh I think Mac Jones is gonna be the deciding factor. I know a lot of people have said that Belichick may the taste may be souring with Jones. He was maybe looking for a replacement. They were talking about Lamar Jackson, but I think that that's probably dead. Uh, for whatever reason, which is a completely different conversation in itself. So I think a lot of it's going to depend on Mac Jones and see what what he can do. And the other thing, that's the other thing, um, is that Bill O'Brien, that's I, that's the Patriots pickup from the free uh, agency offseason I want to talk about. Uh, the offense has been taken away from Patricia, and uh, Belichick wants to win. And Bill O'Brien is a hell of a coordinator. We made a lot of fun of him when he was the coach uh, at Houston. But he's a hell of an offensive coordinator, and now he's in charge of the offense. So my point is that I had forgotten three minutes ago that I remember now is I'm really curious to see what Bill O'Brien can do for Mac Jones and see if those two working together can bring out the best of Mac Jones and if they can turn the Patriots offense around. If they can turn their Patriots offense around, Bill Belichick will find a way to win. And you would expect with Bill O'Brien there for everything – you all the jokes you can make about Bill O'Brien, like we've seen him in the the OC role in multiple places, and he usually is able to do well. So I would expect, you know, it's not Matt Patricia leading it. So the offense for the Patriots is going to be much better this year than it was last year. You just expect that off top, no matter who the quarterback is. And, and look, Mac Jones, like for every all, well, you know. Any other time, I'll sit here and say Mac Jones is trash because he's a Patriots quarterback. But, you know, Mac Jones, Mac Jones is a pretty mid quarterback. You know, not great, not not terrible. Uh, so I think he'll be able to to be the the ultimate game manager for for Bill O'Brien offense, and I think they'll be able to figure it out. You know, you bring in a receiver like Juju Smith Schuster, who in his own right is pretty good. I don't think he's you know an elite wide receiver, but he's pretty good and, and a good number one or two, number two. Uh, number one or number two wide receiver to have, especially after you lose Nelson Aguilar and Jacoby Myers, who's been your best receiver basically since he got drafted. Um, you were able to bring back Jonathan Jones and Jabril Peppers. You are able to bring in Mike Gesicki at tight end. I think that's a pretty good move for them. Riley Reef has been one of the better tackles in the NFL for a while. And then bringing in depth pieces like James Robinson and Jalen Mills. Like I think they made the right uh, – they made the right moves here uh, in the off season, at least to start the off season. And, you know, with the draft coming up, you know, I think they'll be taking or at least have a chance to get uh, Bajan Robinson in the draft coming out of Texas. And I think that'll be major key going forward. But, um, you know, as somebody who's not a Patriots fan, I think even with what they've done this off season at the current moment, I still see the Patriots finishing fourth in their division. Well, so that that's the other part of it. Uh, I don't, I I don't see them competing for this division. I, I, should, I guess I should have been that clear. Uh, there, there's too much. There's too much going on in New York, and Miami, and Buffalo for the Patriots to contend. But this division is it is potentially going to be strong enough that the Patriots could find themselves in a wild card spot um, if they win enough games. Now, finishing fourth will be hard for them to do. But see, that's going to depend on what happens with Miami. With Tua, with Mike Williams, New York will be talked about with Salah and, and Aaron Rodgers. But any one of those teams, things don't gel like they, they we think they're going to, or both of them. And the Patriots could find themselves second or third, and they could they could wind up with a with a wild card uh, spot. So 
I don't expect them to do any damage. I didn't mean to overstate my opinion. I just, I know a lot of people are just expecting them to finish below 500, and I just don't see that happening. Interesting. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, like, once we get closer to the season, you know, I'll gauge how you're feeling on that because I'm more than willing to make a bet about the Patriots going under 500 this year. Uh, okay, fair enough. So what happens to uh, Belichick if they go uh, below 500? Nothing? Does he get fired or does he, does he resign? Well, I think Bill Belichick is so close to breaking Don Shula's uh, wins record that it feels like everything I've heard, it sounds like Robert Kraft wants him to break that record as the Patriots head coach. And then I don't think Bill Belichick is going to quit coaching until he gets to that point. Unless, I mean, unless he just completely falls off a cliff, which I don't expect to happen. But I think he has at least two years, no matter what happens, he'll be the Patriots head coach for at least two full seasons. Yeah, because uh, I just looked it up, and he he needs 23 wins to tie the record. Oh, it's only 23. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I hadn't I hadn't realized that until you just said something. So uh, that's impressive because I I was a Dolphins fan as a kid when Shula was in Miami when Marino was there. I think I told that story being uh, you know freezing my ass off in Indiana watching people at the Dolphins games walking around in shorts, and I knew I wanted to live down here uh, then, but. Um, so that that it's incredibly impressive because Don Shula was a, was an amazing coach and accomplished a lot of amazing things. So we'll see what happens. And and just to, before we get all that, what's crazy about Don Shula still having the record? You think about how many wins Tom Brady and Bill Belichick got together, all the winning the Patriots have done, and those were sixteen game seasons. And Don Shula's day. I think those were, what, 14 games? There might have even been 12 games in, in some of those seasons early on. Like, it's insane that he still owns that record. Yeah, so the, uh, it, it, they, were, they were 14 games. Uh, and then, as you said, Belichick, his entire era has been under 16 games. The 14-game schedule started in 1961. 